which on this day as we honor the sacrifices of those who have served, it's clear that for many veterans, the struggles continue after they return home. The unemployment rate for vets who fought in Iraq and Afghanistan is 11 percent. That is two points higher than the general population. More than 200,000 of them are jobless. Here's just one of their stories. My name is Shannon Dotson, and I was 19 years old when I joined the Air Force. I've been to war three times. I was married for 11 years, and I have three beautiful children from it. Mommy won an award here for Airman of the Year. I know I've been having a problem since I've gotten out. It's not for lack of trying. When the economy is already poor, and I am literally beating the street all over, I've worked as a cashier. I worked at the post office as a casual hire. I worked at the airport temporarily. But those things were all short term. They have trouble paying my bills because I can't get a job, so I don't have any income coming in. How is it that a single mother can be in the military wearing a uniform today and file bankruptcy more than once in their career? What else is on that? I guess technically I'm not homeless because I'm in my apartment, but being that I'm currently under eviction right now because of lack of payment, it's hard. And then I have to swallow more pride and walk into a, a government office. I serve my country and that's someone else to feed my children. That's hard for me <laughs> to now be on food stamps, facing an eviction and unemployed <laughs> for the first time in my life. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Why do I think it's worse for veterans? I think it's worse for veterans because we don't have, on paper, I don't think we have the actual educational skills that employers are currently looking for today. My job specifically was in logistics. It was traffic management officer, moving people and their things, uh, freight, cargo, moving trucks, moving supplies. And if an employer would give any veteran, especially a woman, especially a mom, five seconds of their time, he or she will give them 210% better than any other employee they will ever have on their payroll. Joining us now is Iraq War Vet Tom Tarantino, who's now with the group Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Uh, Tom, Tom, good morning to you. I, I think you heard that piece, and you, and you heard what Shannon had to say. Single mother, served her country at 19 years old, now is facing eviction, mm -hmm. and uh, can't find a job, and has to declare bankruptcy. When you hear that, what do you think? I mean, it's disappointing, and it makes me a little angry. I mean, someone like Shannon has a hard skill. Being someone who manages logistics is not easy, and it's something that can be valued across many sectors. And this is a problem that we're seeing when we're coming out of the military. We have a lot of soft skills with leadership and management, but we also have a lot of hard skills. Medics, mechanics, logistics managers, network technicians. These are all people who have transferable skills, but because we've never tried to figure out the gaps and overlaps in military education and jobs in the, in the civilian market, we can't translate that. We don't know what to put on our resume. So, Tom, how, how do we fix those gaps? Because, as you say, if they have hard skills that can be used, why are they not being employed? Well, it comes from a lack of understanding. You know, this is the first generation in America where our business leaders largely never served in the military. Uh, we're talking about 92% of this population has never even seen the inside of a military uniform. And so whereas 20, 30 years ago, coming out of the military with a job, the chances are your, one of your managers knew what you did in the military. Now that's just not the case. So we actually need to commission a study. We need Congress to ask, ask uh, the corporate sector and ask private industry to study what it really means to be a medic for 10 years and then get out and not have to start training what you did when you were 18. Tom, I know, I know in April you, you, you did speak uh, to Congress. You spoke about the veteran unemployment issue. Uh, d did you get the sense that you made progress there? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, there is a bill in the Senate that will do just this. It will it'll have a study that figures out those gaps between military and civilian employment. Uh, there's one currently being worked on in the House, and I'm really optimistic that we'll actually get something passed this year so that this generation of veterans doesn't fall through the cracks. All right, Tom Tarantino joining us this morning. Tom, thank you very much for your time this morning. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.